Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ken LaRue, and I'd like to spend the next 30 minutes with you talking to you about Shotgun. What is Shotgun, if you're not familiar with it? If you are familiar with it, you're using it. What's new in the newest release? Some really great, exciting stuff. And also, if you're not using it, why you should be using it. What is Shotgun? Shotgun is a production platform for film, television, and game studios. Shotgun connects your entire pipeline team, no matter where they're located, locally or around the world, through a browser, and it also offers specific tools for each person that is part of your pipeline to make sure they're working as fast as they possibly can and efficiently. Shotgun's designed for your supervisor. Shotgun's designed for your artist. It's designed for your manager and your pipeline engineer. And as I said, you're going to see that they're all going to be connected. We keep talking about artists connected. Shotgun takes it further because not just the artists are connected through Shotgun, but your entire pipeline. But you also have to keep in mind the tools that a supervisor needs are very different than the tools that the artist will need and also different from what your manager and your pipeline engineer. And that's the beauty of Shotgun. It has all those tools for individual personas, if you will, inside your pipeline. So they're focused on what they need to be doing. No matter if your facility is five to six people or a thousand people, if you're located in one building or you're located all around the world, Shotgun connects everyone, again, because you're all accessing a Shotgun project through the browser. You're all connected. And the tools are made so that everyone remains connected. There's a typical pipeline that we like to call the human pipeline. This is where humans, the artists, supervisors, managers, are doing things manually that computers do really well. And this is where you're setting stuff up, you're building your file structures, you're building all of this pipeline on a manual level that Shotgun could do for you automatically. Your pipeline, the human pipeline, actually becomes the bottleneck or can cause miscommunication because humans make mistakes. Shotgun is that exact tool that can eliminate all of that. So going back to our personas, in this presentation, I'm going to focus on our artist and our supervisor more than the manager and the pipeline engineer. We're going to talk about both of them. We're going to look at that. But I'm going to also tell you that there is a phenomenal uh, demonstration by the lead pipeline engineer from PSYOP that happens on this stage every day talking about exactly how they use Shotgun and how he takes advantage of everything the pipeline engineer tools are in Shotgun. So let's start with our artist, though. What is it we want our artists doing? We want our artists focusing and doing art, production, creativity, as close to 100% of the time possible. We don't want the artists worrying about the infrastructure. We don't want the artists worrying about all these other parts of the pipeline that have no relevance to them. We want them creating the content we need them to be doing to get the job done on time and on budget. So let's look at the tools that are available for the artist inside of Shotgun. I'm going to look at two different artist personas, two different workflows, if you will. There's a lead artist. The lead artist is someone who's going to use a product like the Foundry's Hero or Autodesk Flame as the main starting point, and then they're going to distribute the work out to other artists. In fact, the demo that just took place was talking exactly about that workflow. The other artist is the shot artist. This is more of an artist who's post-production. They work with a very large team, and they're working on maybe a film, or they're working on an animation, and they get invited into a shotgun project that's already set up, and they then are given the tools and told what to do by their manager, their supervisor, and so on. So let's go back and talk about our lead artist. As I said, they're going to use products like the Foundry's Hero, and they're going to use products like Autodesk Flame as the main starting of the whole production. But they're also going to use Shotgun to bootstrap everything. When they create the, the Flame project through the Shotgun desktop kit, which we'll see in a second, they not only create the Flame project, they create the Shotgun project. So in this video, what you'll see happening is this is the desktop toolkit here. So an artist can launch into any one of those applications. But in this case, as you see, we're going to create a Flame project using Shotgun. But not only is the project being created, the pipeline-friendly layout of everything structure is all being created, and the project settings are all being created. This alleviates the possibility of mistakes later down in the pro as the project goes along. 
If we continue going now, the flame artist now goes into flame, and they start to get the assets they need. They want to bring in their files. Maybe they're going to do a rough cut. Maybe they do a conform, and they then need to go and distribute the different shots to the other artists so that they can start working on them. So what we're doing here is we're actually creating tokens. We're organizing the shots with different token naming conventions, which then will be part of the shotgun project, which then you can easily distribute to other artists. So we, we, we add the tokens. Now we want to export this to the shotgun project. So you'll see what's happening is we launch what's called the shot, shotgun export shot. This is going to take all those shots and now not only upload them to the shotgun site, but also have them accessible for all the artists that need to be working on it. Now we can go and say, I need my nuke artist to be working on this shot. I need my flare artist to be working on this shot. And the beauty is, Shotgun is running on all these applications also. So here the nuke artist is building the stitching together of the shots. They go to the Shotgun launcher and the publisher, and they now can publish this. Not only is this going to send a review to their manager, it's also going to build a version inside the original Flame project that started the entire production. So this is really what's great. And then we want to submit a review so that our supervisor can tell us if we're doing a good job or not. So they use the Shotgun review, and it goes right out to Shotgun. They now can play this back from the browser, and now everyone in your pipeline who needs to see this can access this. They can start adding notes, annotations, comments, and the beauty is everything is being tracked. There is a history of every part that is taking place inside this production. So that was the lead artist. That's where the lead artist starts the project and starts the actual shotgun project itself. The other one that we talked about was the shot artist. This is where, again, more post-production, there's a manager who's going to create a shotgun project, and they're going to start inviting different artists to join the, the, the job and pass on the task to them. But keep in mind that inside the applications that they use, whether it's Maya, whether it's Nuke, whether it's Flare, shotgun is running inside that so they can access different tools to help the artists go faster. So in this video, what you're going to see is the shotgun artist that launches into his page. He's got something called My Task. This is My Task page. It's clear, concise, visual information set up so they know exactly what they need to be working on. And all of a sudden, they get notification. They need to start working on this project in Maya. So they're going to come over to the launcher, and directly from in Shotgun, they launch Maya. It could be 3ds Max. It could be Nuke. It could be Houdini. It could be Photoshop. Shotgun works with all those applications. But in this case, as I said, it's Maya. So when the artist logs into their Maya project, it's already set up. They know what they need to start working. And if they need to add more elements, they don't go to the file menu and start digging, looking for something. They go to the Shotgun Loader. Again, right inside of Maya, this is because all the elements they need are right at their fingertips because the pipeline engineer has set it up for them. So they're not digging through files. They're not trying to find the pieces of elements they need. It's all waiting for them. When it's time to share this with their supervisor, they go back to the shotgun drop-down menu, and they click the Publish button. Once again, they want to communicate with their supervisor. They don't care where the file is going to go. They don't care what the file is named. They don't care that there has to be a QuickTime file generated. It's all going to be automated for them because Shotgun is running in their, in their application of their choice, in this case being Maya. They can add some notes in the comment area so they're communicating with their supervisor or another artist. And when they click Publish, this now goes out to the person who needs to know that this part is done. They go back to their My Task page. They need to know, what am I supposed to be working on next? Their manager now sends them a message in their inbox, I need you to start working on this next part of the production. They easily go into their inbox. They see the information. Again, clear, concise information. This is what I need you working on next. They say, great. They send a note to their manager. I'm on it. They go back to their task page. And once again, they're going to launch the application that they need to be working on from directly in the Shotgun project. This case, it was Photoshop. OK. so. What do the tools for the artist do? The artist has what I like to call easy buttons, if you will, from the My Task page to the tools that are built in their native applications to the inbox. They have all the tools at their fingertip in Shotgun, so they focus on their artwork, their production, and that's all they need to be concerned with. That's our artist. Let's also, I should mention, 
as I, the, the native tools that Shotgun works in, not just Autodesk products. As you can see, we got Maya and Max. Also, just recently, we're talking about how they're integrated into Flame. But the Foundry projects, Nuke, Houdini, Mari, uh, not Houdini, uh, Mari, uh, Hero, Houdini, and also Photoshop. So it's not just Autodesk products. So these are products that are used all over this industry, and Shotgun is part of all of them. Let's now talk about the next scenario. This is our supervisor, and this is probably the biggest bottleneck that we see in any production. Why? We need to be creating multiple iterations and versions constantly. The artist needs to be pumping out these new versions, and the supervisor needs to be reviewing them and communicating back and forth with their staff. But what is the truth? The truth is a supervisor is a very busy person. They're usually running all over the place doing multiple things. Also, we have artists that are all over the world, so the communication can get lost and broken down. If I'm just putting a file in Dropbox and sending an email, I have no idea if my supervisor found out about this. And this artist is now waiting around for that supervisor to get back to them. So let's take a look at the tools that are available for the supervisor so that bottleneck can be el eliminated. So the supervisor has what's called the media page, and every single version that's being uploaded is available to them from the browser. They can also filter through and see what they haven't reviewed and what they have reviewed. They can open up the images and the video files inside their browser. You can zoom in on them. You can pan around on them. More importantly, you can communicate with your artist with annotations. If there's multiple versions of a shot, you can easily navigate through the history of the shot being created. You can see the different versions and comment to the the artist. So now in this scenario, we're playing this back and the supervisor realizes they want some changes. They can draw directly on the frame. They can add text directly on the frame. They can go and type inside of a, the side panel right here. And when they click submit, what happens is that artist back on their shotgun page, the inbox lights up, they get a message, they've communicated with their supervisor exactly what needs to be done. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, the browser is fantastic, but there are times you want to review the actual 2K files. You want to look at the native fo format. So there's a product called Tweak RV. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. It's an image sequence player, and it's a great tool, and Shotgun's always worked with it. But very recently, we've acquired our longtime partner, RV, and now it is part of Shotgun. So when you purchase Shotgun, when you're a subscription of Shotgun, you get RV automatically as part of for no extra cost. In RV, on your desktop, you can browse through all the files that the native files your artist has submitted to you. You can come and play them back. You have the same type of tools as far as annotation tools, text tools, communication tools. And the beauty, again, is it's all connected to that shotgun project. You're connected to your artist. You can compare different versions, A over B, or side by side, and so on. But always keep in mind, you are playing back the raw 2K files inside Tweak RV right there on your desktop. So this is fantastic. The browser is great for a lot of things, but sometimes you really need to see the raw na native material. And you can also use RV to, to power a projector in a screening room with your client and so on. So as I said before, Shotgun has worked with RV for a long time, but now they are one team bringing you the best review tools for the future. The other thing that's available for the producer or the supervisor is the RV, the Shotgun review tool on your iPhone. I can only imagine how many supervisors are at NAB this year, and they've got artists that are back at the office working, and they're submitting work that are waiting to get feedback back from their supervisor, but the supervisor has no connection with them because they're away from the office, because they're visiting clients, or they're at the bar. Who knows? Well, that's what, S that's what Shotgun Review eliminates. Just like the browser that we saw, the phone has the same tools. They can log into their project. They can see every single version that is being submitted. They can play them back. They can dig into and see the history of every single version that has been submitted. So while the supervisor's over here watching a presentation about something else, they get notification their artist has submitted something. They can easily play it back. They can add notes. They can even take a picture and then add that as part of what is sent back to their artist. So the communication is never broken, no matter where you are. So the review tools, if you think about, oh wait, let's go back, client review. That's another very important part. Your client needs to be reviewed too. So same as what we just saw with the artist, the client has a client review. They can log into a web browser and view the footage that you are submitted to your client that you will need to hear back from them.
They have the same tools. They can do annotations. They can draw notes. They can communicate with you. And that is also available on the iPhone. So once again, the supervisor is tightly connected with the production, the artist, no matter where they are. But you are also connected with your, super, with your client, no matter where you are, because of the amazing tools that Shotgun offers. So going back to review tools that we mentioned, we have the browser. Whether it's the browser with the artist and the supervisor or the, the supervisor with the actual client, you have it on your iPhone. You also have it on a desktop. This is a suite of review tools that are all available in Shotgun for you to make sure you are staying on time no matter what. All right, let's move on to our manager. So the manager, this job is to keep your eye on the entire production. They have to make sure it's on time, on budget, and they need to schedule tasks. They need to do all these other elements like planning. They've got to make sure they're keeping track of what the artists are working on. When this artist finishes this job, this artist now kicks on their job. They create these tasks. They have notes. They have all reports. Shotgun has all these tools for them, and this eliminates the spreadsheets and the databases and all the other things that a supervisor would use to manage, or manager would use to control the whole production, but it's all in one location. And they're constantly getting updates of what is happening from every person inside the production. So this is just a quick look at some of the tools, such as an asset page. So now the, super, the manager can see every single asset that's being created, who is working on it, Every shot, every iteration, they see the communication that is happening from the supervisor, from the client, from the artist. They can also obviously add information, communicate with them all through the same because everyone's connected to that same shotgun project. They control the, the scheduling of things. All this stuff is there for them so they can keep the project, the production on time, on budget. They are doing their job as fast as they can because they know their artists and their supervisors have the tools to do their job just as fast as they can. The next part we want to talk about is the pipeline engineer. Now, just to clarify, Shotgun you do not have to have a pipeline engineer to use Shotgun. It's a very open source project. You could customize it. You can work with Shotgun in many, many different ways. But if you do have a pipeline engineer, you can use the API hooks. You can use the Python. You can use all these different tools that are available to you inside of Shotgun to do amazing things beyond what Shotgun does by itself. And as I mentioned earlier, I highly recommend, I'm not sure what time it happens today, but there's the, the lead pipeline engineer from PSYOP that's going to be on the stage up here talking about what they use in Shotgun and how they automate processes way beyond what you can ever even imagine. So it's an outstanding presentation. So there's also a huge community for the pipeline education uh, engineer. I should have mentioned that too. Let's talk, go back, that's our pipeline engineer. There's also CineSync. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them, but if you're doing sync reviews with your clients, CineSync and Shotgun have been working together to integrate together very tightly. So now, in CineSync even, we can put notes, annotations, and everything is gonna be connected to your Shotgun project. You have easy buttons to access through the Shotgun menu to be able to connect. There's another level of connectivity throughout the actual production that you have. So let's go back to the very beginning. We talked about the four different personas, whether it's your supervisor, your artist, your manager, your pipeline engineer. We need each one of these personas to be working as efficiently as they possibly can, no matter where they are. If they're local, if they're around the world, doesn't matter. Shotgun connects everybody and keeps that communication as tight as it possibly can possibly be. This way, there is no bottleneck in your production. You're able to get everything done as you need it done on time and on budget. So I highly recommend you going to shotgunsoftware.com. This is where you can get our free trial if you want to. Go in there and check this out. There's a lot of great resources there to learn more about Shotgun. We also have a couple pods dedicated to Shotgun. We have one over there that is just about Shotgun. We also have one that's focusing on how Flame is working with Shotgun. Plus, we have excellent presentations going on all day long. Check the schedule with our front desk. And as always, if you want more information on any of our products, get your badge scanned by the front desk over here. And also drop your business card into the fishbowl, where later in the afternoon today, we're giving away a graphic card every single day. So get the information you need. Check out the rest of the presentations. Thank you very much for your time.